So, we're back for another VGC guide, and this time we are looking at Whimsicott. It's got competition in Tornadus, but basically, these are now the two best pranks to Tailwind users in the format. We've had to deal with Talonflame and Murkrow in the previous regulations, then we got Tornadus, and then it was kind of uncontested, but now Whimsicott's here to try and take the spot of Tornadus. There's quite a few things that Whimsicott has over Tornadus. Tornadus is a lot stronger, and Bleakwind Storm will do significant damage to the opposing side of the, the uh, opposing side of the field. Also, Tornadus gets Rain Dance. Whimsicott does not get Rain Dance. Tornadus also gets Sunny Day, but if you're using Whimsicott, you're forced into Sunny Day as your weather. Nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of Pokemon that do want to be in the sun, but Sunny Day would be the weather that you have to go for with Whimsicott. So that's absolutely fine. Like Tailwind is, is obviously mandatory. There's no reason to run Whimsicott if you are not running Tailwind. You should have some kind of attacking move so that you can just do any kind of chip damage to break Focus Sashes. Moonblast is probably the best one because it's the strongest that it can go for, uh, while also having the secondary effect of the special attack drop. That's pretty nice as well. Prankster Encore is a big one. People have been using Illumise because of just Prankster Encore. Like, I guess Illumise was like a niche Tailwind Pokemon, Prankster Tailwind, but that was used just purely because of Encore. Whimsicott is just better than Illumise. So if you're using Prankster Encore, that's a brilliant move. That shuts down so many things. It forces opponents into plays they don't want to make because they've used a move and if they can get encored into it then that's really bad for them so encore on whimsicott that's one of the big things that is um setting whimsicott apart from tornadoes like tornadoes can't go for prankster encore prankster encore is a fantastic move uh this whimsicott this is a bulky whimsicott obviously just going with 252 is also good and you'll outspeed opposing tornadoes if you are not outspeeding tornadoes i think you should underspeed tornadoes because we've seen in uh, the previous regulations when Tornadus was allowed, some Tornadus were just dropping one speed IV on their Tornadus so that they could underspeed opposing Tornadus, get their weather first. No, get their weather second, I should say. Because the opposing Tornadus gets their weather. They, like, say, for example, the opposing Tornadus clicks Rain Dance, then you click Sunny Day. You want to underspeed and be the slower prankster Pokemon so that your weather goes up at the end of the turn. So if that's the case, if you're not going max speed on your Whimscot, I would argue you should be under speeding just neutral speed uh, Tornadus so that you can get your sunny day after theirs. So uh, otherwise, just go max speed. There's not really any reason not to if you are uh, not running a bulky Whimsicott. Kerbert Cloak is a brilliant item. We've seen it on Tornadus as well. Um, Kerbert Cloak, keeping your Whimsicott safe from fake out. Fake outs means that you want kind of want protect on your Whimsicott. And also Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost keeps you safe from, from fake outs as well. Covert Cloak means you do not need Protect on your Whimsicott in the slightest. Because you don't need to Protect from a Fake Out, you can just have space for an extra support thing. And given that I've got so many Whimsicots here, they're all, like, not recommended movesets. They're just, these are good moves on Whimsicott. Um, like, for example, here, this is definitely not a recommended moveset on Whimsicott. These are just good attacks to have in the Moonblast slot. You shouldn't have multiple. I, I don't think you should have both Energy Ball and Fairy Move. You probably only need one. But Energy Ball, like, co covers for, um, like, a Terra... Uh, Shifu, you can still hear that super effectively, which is quite nice. Dazzling Gleam is weak on the Moonblast and uh, doesn't have the secondary effect, but breaks Focus Sash is guaranteed. If the opposing Pokemon has a Focus Sash, you don't need to Moonblast into a Rage Powder or Follow Me or whatever. Dazzling Gleam just does some nice chip to the opposing uh, Pokemon and breaks Focus Sashes. Endeavor does a lot of chip if you've gone down to your Focus Sash. If you're running Endeavor, definitely just go no HP and have the minimum amount possible, because Endeavor... If you've down to your Focus Sash, brings them to 1 HP. They are literally in range of whatever attack you would want to go for. So Endeavor is absolutely worth considering. Beat Up specifically is for the Pokemon you would obviously want to beat up. Annihilate would be a good partner for Whimsicott if you want to beat it up. Uh, other justified Pokemon that are in the format. Terrakion is a big Pokemon you want to beat up. Especially now it can go for the weakness policy with Terra Ghost to get plus 6 in its attack. Even stronger than it was previously. There's other Pokemon you want to beat up. Archaludon as well. You get the stamina boost if you beat yourself up. There's plenty of Pokemon that do benefit from beat up from Whimsicott. And Whimsicott is probably now the best beat-up user. Mousehold was good, and that was paired with Annihilate a lot um, in the previous regulations. Whimsicott is surely just better now that you can just go for Pranks of Tailwind as well to help them out. So, uh, yeah, when Whimsicott with beat-up, that's going to be very viable. You have to be ready for at least beat-up uh, Whimsicott with Terrakion. Like, you must be, else you just get swept. So, uh, keep that in mind with your team building as well. Again, these are not recommended movesets, especially this one, uh, because these are just other support moves that would absolutely fit on Whimsicott. You should have a attacking move. It could just be solo beat up. That's fine. That breaks the Sash. It should absolutely be Tailwind. And then these other two support slots should be two of these moves. All of these are viable. 
So Fake Tears does the most amount of damage you can do uh, paired up with your special attackers. Helping Hand helps out the special attackers, but also the physical attackers as well. So Helping Hand uh, is kind of a middle ground. Fake Tears is if your team is much more special. Uh, something nice you can do with the Whimscot is, for example, you can Fake Tears into a Thunderclap from a Raging Bolt because your Fake Tears will out-prioritize your own Thunderclap and then the Thunderclap will benefit from your Fake Tears because of the Prankster. So that's quite a nice combination. Obviously, Helping Hand will do that as well, but Fake Tears does that even better. So if you've got plenty of special attacks on your team, Fake Tears, but otherwise, if you're kind of mixed or more physical, go Helping Hand. Light Screen, just damage reduction. There's plenty of good damage reduction option, uh, options on Whimscot, so Light Screen would just be one of them. Help out your, your team mix for five turns, even when Wimscot's left the field, is pretty nice. Taunt is good to shut down opposing Tornadus, because you do outspeed opposing Tornadus, uh, so that you can get the taunt into them. If they're not Mental Herb, then you get your speed control guaranteed against them. Uh, and obviously, taunt is good against all the other support things as well, but it's specifically very good against opposing Tornadus. There's no longer a, if you both have taunt with your Tornadus, who's going to taunt first? Wimscot will taunt first. If you're going for the Wimscot speed tie with taunting, uh, then don't. Like, that's not worth. It's not worth going for the Whimscot um, Speed Tide Taunt. It is worth it going for the Tornadus, because obviously you're going to outspeed that. So long as you have max speed, of course. Uh, charm is good speed, uh, speed control. Damage control, as well. Light Light Screen. Pair it with the light, light Screen and Charm. That would be very good damage reduction also. Charm won a World Championships with Whimscot. So Charm is absolutely worth considering on Whimscot. The form, if it was on Regulation E, that format was very physical. Charm would have been even better then. So for, there's still going to be plenty of physical attackers. There's a few more viable special attacks that are holding up though. So, but Charm is still absolutely worth it. Cotton Sport is kind of like Icy Wind slash Scary Face on Tornadus, but even better. Because it hits both partners, both Pokemon on the opposing side of the field, and lowers their speed by two. It's like Scary Face, but both. So it's significantly better than uh, opposing Tornadus. So if you are absolutely committing to I am going first, you can run Tailwind and Cotton Spore. I wouldn't run just Cotton Spore. Uh, Tailwind is better than Cotton Spore. So I would run both of them if you are like, I must move first. Uh, some Tornadus teams have run Tailwind and Scary Face. This does it even better if you go Cotton Spore. Tickle is also good damage control while also kind of being like a helping hand on the physical side. So it's not as much damage reduction, but it's still a noticeable drop while also meaning that some of your physical attackers might now get KO. So it's kind of combining Charm and Helping Hand into one. Uh, it is absolutely worth it. Tailwind and Trick Room on Moon's Cot is a good combination. Because if they're trying to match your, your Tailwind with their Tornadus or their opposing Whimscot, for example, you can just Trick Room as they set Tailwind and then you're sorted. Also, your team might be like reasonably slow, but still benefits from Tailwind and also benefits from Trick Room. So the speed control there uh, could be very nice as well. Trick Room is worth slotting on Whimscot, even if it is the logic of just, I will reverse opposing Trick Room. That's perfectly fine too. And then honorable mention to Misty Terrain is stop status and all that, but it's mainly to stop Psy Spam. So that you can go for Misty Terrain, Prankstead, and then suddenly their expanding force is super weak. So, yeah, there's plenty of good moves to have on Whimsicott. It's going to be one of the best Tailwind setters for sure. It's got competi competition in Tornadus. It will just be team-dependent which one is better for you.